hello guys you are welcome to Chris control automation in today's video we are going to look at how to connect this device and then operate it this device is called safety relay this is a type of relay used to protect induction motors control panels in the industries we have a large number of control panels machines induction motors a lot okay so assuming you open the door of a particular control panel the moment that control panel door is opened okay no motor or no machine should work example if a control panel is controlling a boiler the moment we open the door of the control panel the boiler can never be started when there's an emergency in the factory the moment you press on the emergency stop button all the machineries all the motors everything should go off so in this video we are going to learn how to connect emergency stop button okay and then a start button to this safety relay then you see how it will operate okay so this is the diagram for this relay the same diagram here this is an electronic device it has two relays inside of it so the relays they are numbered k2 and then k3 so these are their lights this is the supply or the power light and then each relay has its set of contacts so k2 has one two three four these three are open contact and then this is closed contact k3 also has one two three and then this so open 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 and then close okay now they are all wired in series when k2 energizes this contact they are all going to close this contact to open when k3 also energizes this contact they are going to close this contact to open we have the same diagram here open contact are always between 3 and 4 so 13 14 23 24 33 34 and close contacts are between 1 and 2 so we have 41 and then 42 okay this device is a 24 volt dc device it means that it operates on 24 volt dc we have a1 plus 24 volt dc we have a2 minus 24 volt dc so that is the power terminals y21 y11 y22 y12 y12 y31 y13 y14 these are the input terminals or control terminals 13 14 23 24 33 34 41 42 these are the auxiliary contacts on the relays okay this contact you can see from here 13 14 we have 13 14 23 24 23 24 33 34 33 34 41 42 and then we have 41 and then 42 so those are the auxiliary contacts on the release okay so let's begin the wiring from terminal y11 it connects to one side of the emergency stop button the other side of the button goes to terminal y12 this side goes to terminal y12 then we tap from terminal y12 to terminal y31 we connect a piece of wire from terminal y21 to y22 We connect from terminal Y12 to one side of the start button, terminal 3. The other side of the start button goes to terminal Y13. We connect plus 24 volt DC to terminal A1. This is power supply. 220 volt or 110 volt AC to 24 volt DC. This is the input 220 volt AC, the output 24 volt DC. Then this is the DC breaker. This is AC breaker. We connect the negative 24 volt DC to terminal A2. So now, as I said earlier, these are the auxiliary contacts 13, 14, 23, 
24, 33, 34, and then 41, 42. So, we are going to control relay or contactor. So, over here, I connected two contactors, K1, K2, and then one relay, and then a lamp. But we are going to only connect K1, K2, and then the lamp. Okay? So, we are going to connect live at terminal 13, and then we loop it to terminal 23. Since we are not using the relay, so you jump and loop it to terminal 41 to use this side. This is the life. It goes to terminal 13. We loop to terminal 23. Then from 23, we connect to terminal 41. From terminal 14, it goes to terminal A1 of this contactor. From terminal 24, it goes to A1 of K2. Then from terminal 42, it goes to X1 on the red lamp. Now we are looping all the neutral together. This is the main neutral, the black cable. So we are done with the whole wiring. I connected this red lamp as an indicator lamp such that when the K2 and K3 are not energized, okay, this lamp will be on. Why? Let's see. So these are K2 contacts. Let's see this close contact. Okay, this is K3 contact. Let's see this close contact. Now we have powered them. We have connected them together. And live is connected as terminal 41. Terminal 42 goes to the lamp. This side. Okay. And then this is the life. So, as this K2 and K3 are all off, these contacts are closed. So, current will flow through either here or here to energize the lamp. The moment the K2 and K3 energizes, these contacts are going to open. Therefore, the red lamp will go off and then this contact is going to close this contact will close so carry the flow through the same applies to this one okay so when i turn on the dc breaker the power light will be on this light will be on but this light will be off so when i turn on the ac breaker this red lamp will be on the moment i press on the start button the red lamp will go off so let's see you see, as I turn on the DC breaker, the supply light is on. When I turn on the AC breaker, let's see, the red lamp is on. I am coming to energize K2 and K3. The moment they energize, okay, let's see. As I said earlier, this contact to close. This contact was to close. So when 13, 14 closes, it means that K1 is going to energize. When 23, 24 closes, it means that K2 is going to energize, okay? But this 41, 42, it will open and then the red lamp will go off. So let's see this contactors. Let's monitor them. And then the lamp. I am pressing on the start button. You see that? Now, these lights are all on. K2 is on. K3 is on. So this contact, okay? They are all closed now. And now K1 and K2, they are energized. Then the red lamp is off, indicating that the contactors or the relays are all energized. Assuming that we are operating induction motors in the industry or in the factory, and then there is an emergency in the system. The moment I press on this emergency stop button, the whole circuit should go off. The K2 
and K3, they should de-energize. Let's see. When I press on it, you see that the conductors are all de-energized. And then the red lamp has come on again. But because this emergency stop, it is push to lock. Push to lock. The moment you push it, it locks. Okay? So when I press on the start button or the reset button, nothing will happen. Okay? Unless I turn this emergency stop button, okay, to reset it. So I will turn it this way. You see that? Now it has come up. All right? When we press it this way, it has gone down. When I turn it, it comes up. So when I press on the start button again, okay, it will start again. Let's see. You see that? This is what you call manual reset. The moment you release the emergency stop button, you have to come and press on this before the circuit will restart or reset. So now we are going to do automatic reset. With the automatic reset, I will tap from terminal white wall. So this is the same cable. So I can tap it from here. So I will connect a cable from terminal white wall all the way to terminal Y14. So I'll connect a cable from terminal Y12 to terminal Y14. I will bypass the start push button. This is the bypass. So let's on it and see how it also operates. So I will turn on the breakers. The lamp is on. I will turn on the DC breaker. Let's monitor something here. The moment I turn it on, the contactors are energized. And then you can also see that this relays, the K2 and K3, they are also energized. Their lights are on. It means that this one does with automatic reset. So assuming there is a fault in the system, and then I press on the emergency, let's see what will happen. The contactors are de-energized. They are off. Assuming we have completed rectifying the problem or the fault, and then I come back to reset the emergency stop button. The moment I reset it, the contactors will automatically energize without me pressing on the start button because this one will never work. Now we are working in automatic mode. So let's see what happens. You see that? So assuming we have finished working on that particular problem or rectifying the fault, okay, I only have to go and reset the emergency stop button and then the motor or whatever will begin to operate again. So that's the difference between the manual resetting and then the automatic resetting. So engineers, this brings us to the end of today's video. If you really enjoyed the video and then you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe you hit on the subscribe button and then you hit on the bell icon you choose all to turn on your notification okay and then you like the video you put down your comments and you share the video to your friends okay let's meet in the next tutorials thank you